From 2008 to 2013, chain consumer food services have performed much better than independent ones. In current value terms, uh, the chain businesses have had a compounded annual growth rate of 4% compared to 2% for the independent ones. This performance has not gone unnoticed, however. Uh, chain businesses already are on the Swedish market, such as Subway and Espresso House, are looking to continue their expansion, and uh, new players are planning to dig in on their revenues. Uh, for instance, uh, we have KFC that will open their first outlet in Sweden during 2014, and Starbucks has recently presented a strategy to more aggressively expand into city centers and take one step further away from their trial markets at airports and train stations. Diversification through quality, product offering, service and promotion has been in great need though. That's why we've seen well-known chefs open their own chain restaurants such as Vigoda in order to provide consumers with higher quality fast food. We also have chain businesses such as Sibilla and Starbucks that have launched their own products for grocery sales in order to increase brand awareness. And then we have Espresso House that have recently started an expansion into shopping malls in order to claim more volume and also find new attractive locations. In the coming years, competition will be even fiercer. Uh, but a continued focus on diversification and uh, mixed with Swedes eating out more, we expect there to be enough room for more consumer food service companies as the market is expected to continue uh, on the, the same level of compounded annual growth rate as we've seen in the last five years.